Hello there Aquarius and welcome to your oracle messages for whenever you get this video and it resonates for your situation regardless of the date and time. Keep in mind Aquarius that this is a general reading so if you find the messages uh, don't resonate for you at all check your moon, your rising or your Venus signs or feel free to check out the past oracle messages those are all timeless okay. Um, Aquarius let's <laughs> Excuse me, Aquarius, let's find out what uh, your oracle messages are and what you need to know about your situation right now. Let's see here. So there's some type of big opportunity here. I see an opportunity here that can really give you guys a lot of wealth. Um, it could be a definitely could be something about a business or being a boss or a manager. There's just something here about you being a boss energy. <laughs> some of you guys, there's some kind of passionate uh, beginning as well, uh, possibly here um, when we're talking in regards of maybe a connection uh, with a King of Pentacles energy Aquarius. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, I, I do feel that maybe for some of you guys, there was a situation in the past <clears throat> maybe for some um, where something didn't work out the way that you had hoped, okay? Uh, but there's something about, I'm also getting this message about being uh, kind of ruthless right now when it comes to uh, creating a bright future for a lot of you guys. But I do see something right now that's really important, um, Aquarius, with you and something that has to do with a lot of your guys's, you know, um, whatever you're man managing, whatever you're doing, some of you guys are entrepreneurs here. Some of you guys too, there may be a need um, to really create space as well, boundaries for yourself so that you do have enough time uh, to really get organized and reassess your plans because I see something very strong um, coming here when it comes to success and tangible results, okay? But we've got this um, power and wealth uh, with this King of Pentacles. <clears throat> with the Ace of Wands, Fire Sign is showing up, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, so I see some type of, uh, maybe uh, some type of spiritual or business or something creative here that has to do with making money or uh, has to do with stability here, okay? And also I just can't disregard that I do see something here with a passionate new beginning with someone who is um, definitely very well off, okay? Definitely mature. Um, they could have uh, earth and fire in their chart. Um, but let's see what else comes out for you, Aquarius. Some of you guys just need to hear that your business plans or your plans are going to work out very well. You just may need to get a little organized um, or make some detailed plans here. And also don't allow any type of false starts for some of you Aquarius don't allow any false starts to become a bigger obstacle than it really is because I just see you as being very powerful and to me the rhinoceros is definitely an animal that knows how to indulge in um, earthly things um, you know this is an energy that really likes to be around quality things and quality people okay um, but I do see something here about don't allow anything to you know take you off your path or make you not kind of um, stay determined in, in what it is that you're doing because I just feel that you guys have something um, uh, wonderful things to offer here wow you guys are gonna have a, a new beginning here so I see this whole new transformation. I do feel that a lot of you guys are going to become even more powerful and stable than you ever thought. Okay. I do feel that there was something in the past here that, that might've not worked out, or there was just a situation that, um, maybe it just, it, it, it left as quickly as it got started for some of you guys. Okay. I want to get a little bit more too for you Aquarius about this uh, rebirth is assured. Um, I'm trying to remember, I believe Pisces actually got this same card here. So maybe some of you Aquarius have uh, Pisces in your chart or you're dealing with the Pisces or a fire sign or an earth sign. You don't have to. Um, yeah, I feel that you guys were challenged by something here. That had you see, there was something that was challenging that had had you questioning or ha, had something 
it's just like something put you in a position that there's just some kind of opportunity for us to seek, for us to see here. Um, and then you've got this extreme, beautiful new beginning here. What's this about? Hang on here. Oh, we may. Okay. So th is there going to be any more? So going back to the King of Pentacles, I feel a lot of you guys, there's something about a balancing act and having a review, right? There was something about maybe for some making sure that you guys are organized with your schedule or your space or your boundaries. Um, cause we do have this thing about review and the balancing act here. Okay. And I, I see this bat spirit as like the hanged man. So I'm, I'm just like seeing this situation, like there may be a halt or a pause right now because we're having to reassess and realign things that bring us more balance. Okay. And then we have motivation. I want to get a little bit more about this uh, motivation here because maybe some of you guys are having a hard time getting motivated or there's just something else here. There's, this is about energy here. Let's see what else. Uh, what about this? Um, what do you want Aquarius to know about this? There may be something here with caffeine and coffee for some of you guys. <clears throat> there may be a love for coffee or something. Let's see. Uh, that's just a side message because this is really talking about motivation getting going here and we've got that ace of wands give me a little bit more about this caffeine card motivation card so this is about something um, brand new here you guys have there's something about a choice this is very interesting because I feel like this choice card is very connected to this um, a rebirth is assured the balancing act There's something about having a, there's something right now. I feel for some of you guys, it may be hard to get yourself motivated to really um, believe and get back to a sense of innocence, but I want to show you something here. We've got this bat spirit and it's about a rebirth. You're going through some type of transformation and I really see you guys coming into a lot of power and a lot of wealth, really being very strong and stable. Okay. And what I wanted to show you was, here's this birth of magic. This is all about coming back to a sense of um, uh, innocence and a sense of being brand new here, but there may be a need to get motivated, right? We have to, um, you know, maybe analyze, real, look at things uh, maybe in a different way, in a different light here. Just do what you can, I guess, is what, what I'm trying to say, Aquarius, is do whatever you guys can right now to put yourself back to a place of innocence, back to a place of seeing things uh, magical, okay? Believing and trusting, there may be something here with, you know, staying dedicated and keeping to promises here, especially when you know it's, it's creating something strong and stable for you. There may have been a situation here too, where you may have for some, I'm picking up something about maybe there was a false start with someone here as well, and it didn't work out. That's just for some. Um, and there may be a, a second chance at that, but you know, take it if it resonates, don't worry if it doesn't. I just feel that there's, there's going to be a need for motivation here, or you guys may get inspired. Um, so be prepared because I do see something coming towards you that is very divine. So some of you guys, you may need to just kind of block out a little time for yourself so that you can really connect to that creative sp uh, spark within you, because that's really you connecting to the divine and getting these inspired creative ideas that give you a lot of motivation. I also see, I just can't help but see something else about someone coming along your path. That's going to give you guys a lot of motivation. Um, it could be love. It could be a connect, just something significant. I'm seeing two of cups. <laughs> I just see the two of cups there. So, um, we might as well say water sign is coming out. So spirit wants you guys to kind of um, go into this situation of review, you know, being in charge of yourself and, and your schedule and what's going on. But also, you know, you're not as tied down as you think you are. You do have a choice, right? So it is about freedom. It is about um, being okay with choices and making a decision, okay? I want to get a little bit more with this choice too. 
Give me a little bit more with uh, this choice. Choose to free yourself. Some of you guys, yeah, with that balancing act, there's something that we're tied to or something that makes us feel unbalanced, you know, whether it's on the outside of you or on the inside of you. You know, you guys got to figure this out, okay? But it is a, it's all about choices right now for you, Aquarius. Let's get a little bit more too. Give me a little bit more with this uh, pedestal. Because she see, she's like standing here and she's like, she really can't move anywhere, right? But it's not really that tight around her. That's it, It's not like it's strapping her down. Let's see, a little bit more. Rise and shine, foresight, sl slow and steady. We've got the three of wands here. Some of you guys, something did not, something in the past did not work out, but then it's like, there's something about a choice of seeing um, the positive and staying optimistic because I do see that you guys have done something. Otherwise, the Ace of Wands would not show up here. This is telling me that you guys have done something here. So, you know, this is all about your ships coming in. And all, also, there's something about being very prideful for how far you guys have come to. Because I do see you guys at least got this energy of the King of Pentacles, which is a very strong and stable energy. This is something that is, um, you know, definitely tangible here. So some type of results are coming. Let's see if we can get a little bit more with this Three of Wands. Because some of you guys may be choosing to do things, you know, some things by yourself and some things with others. There's just something about that for some of you guys here. But I want to see what else Spirit will give us with this. My goodness. Okay. What's this funny card too that's flying, shining your inner light in the moment of glory? Okay. You guys will have a moment of glory with this rebirth here with the three of wands. So here, this is very, very interesting here. So I feel that there may be a tie here, a tide here, it's a tide. There may be a tie here with memories and lessons learned. And it's very interesting because this is a card, this pedestal is about choices. And then this is also about choices made, right? And where do we go from now? So review the past accurately. And, you know, it is about something is wanting to move forward. So sometimes we've got to be willing to close up or allow something or maybe even allow others choices, right? Because I do feel that there was a choice made here in the past. Um, and there's still a choice that's going to be made here too in the future. Um, but we may be tied into memories here for some of you guys that might be holding us back. Okay. But spirit is trying to remind you that you guys have free will. You guys have choice here. And it is about a choice of, of really walking into your power right now. This is the thing. There's something that had happened here. Some type of lesson was learned for you to really step into your power. And when I'm talking about stepping into your power, I was telling you like this rooster, look at this rooster's chest. Okay, rise and shine. There may be something here with morning time for a lot of you guys. It's kind of like that early bird gets the worm. So, uh, you know, that's really interesting because we're getting coffee here. We're getting caffeine. So there may be something here that you guys might be more productive and creative for some of you guys during the morning hours. There may be something about getting motivated in the morning time to set your day off here. Okay, but... What was I going to here? Um, shining your inner light, your power, rise and shine. I was getting to you guys really being very powerful here. Um, so shining your inner light in a moment of glory. Here you are with this king of pentacles energy, right? So I do see a lot of you guys headed towards some type of for a lot of you guys, uh, improvement in your finances, maybe a pay raise or getting more money, getting more um, followers or popularity, having some type of success here, okay? 
I see the I see a lot of you guys attracting a, a situation towards you because there is so much light going on right now with you. Okay, regardless of what it seems like. I'm getting like six of cups energy here. <clears throat> There was some type of choices made in, in, in a past situation with someone here. And we may be having a hard time letting go or we may be having to still review what had gone down, lessons that we're, we're learning and in, integrating into our daily life. But I see some type of success coming towards you. And um, there, there, there may be something significant here with attraction of a connection or a person coming towards you as well, okay? Let's see, uh, what else for Aquarius? This one wants, okay, oh my goodness. So this one wanted to show itself and I was just looking at this, these two cards here. So it's like, you know, time to let go. Groundhog spirit, right? Don't keep reliving the same thing over and over and over again for some of you guys right your heart is right your heart is going to be fulfilled whatever you guys feel is missing in your heart spirit's going to replace that but you got to trust right you guys i feel have been working very hard as well there's something about your energy and, and you working hard and working towards things but we may be having a hard time letting go about choices that were made right but you guys have to realize that you guys is um your rebirth is ass assured here i don't know how i'm gonna hold this here you know how, you know you guys know what i'm trying to do okay your rebirth is assured it's gonna be okay something valuable was learned something very valuable a lot of you guys something had happened that put you guys um in a great state of getting very um great enlightenment spiritual advancement prophetic messages and dreams premonition okay yeah time to let go <clears throat> here we go right time you're not that tied in you're not that closed up you're not that bound to it uh what else for um aquarius something is going to come along your way that's going to get you guys motivated i mean with this caffeine, that Ace of Wands. <clears throat> don't allow, there's something too, for some of you Aquarius, don't allow your past insecurities do anything to you, especially when it comes to your what you're doing on, what you feel that you're doing for your work or purpose. Breaking free, chasing a dream. Wow. Yeah, you guys are breaking free here. And this is the other thing. Oh my God, this is so cool. This is your guys' energy. People, okay, I can't even help but tell you guys, you guys are really going to be very awe-inspiring to others if you're not already. This really does have a Six of Wands energy really going, uh, really coming out strong for me right now. You got this breaking free. I want you guys to notice because remember we had this thing about choice and you can see that she's kind of tied up here, right? But she's really not that tied up, right? These choices made, time to let go. You guys, here you are, right? Here's what people have thought of you guys or maybe you thought yourself right here, but look, you turn alive and you break free and you get out of something that has kept you small or kept you enclosed you guys are going to be chasing your dream and i know this for a fact because we have the six of wands here the six of wands is definitely this energy of you guys breaking free and the other thing is i want you guys to see like pinocchio and Ra raggedy ann there's like these pinocchio and raggedy ann yeah maybe some of you guys dealt with people who were liars and didn't do much maybe they were just raggedy people too anyways 
they're gonna be all inspired by you. You guys are really, don't even know that you guys are setting dreams for others by them watching you, but it's almost like, wow, they're almost very envious. <laughs> like, wow, they just got, they just went after their dream and they caught it. Because why? Choices. You continue to make the right choice. Sometimes these choices are hard, right? But as long as it's right, things will work out right. You have to trust. Sometimes it doesn't appear that way on the surface, but then things start making a lot of sense when they start to form in the tangible form here for you. Okay, let's see. What else for Aquarius? You guys are you guys are you guys are really doing something very magnificent and powerful. I can see it with the 3 of wands, the 6 of wands. The King of Pentacles. I told you guys are doing something here with Ace of. I mean, yeah. <laughs> what is this? So more about organization and getting control. So I do feel that a lot of you guys um, blend in your energies, blend in things, allow things to kind of uh, synchronize together, right? But be be careful not to control things too much here. But I was kind of picking that up with the King of Pentacles energy about getting organized making new plans, maybe reassessing things, getting motivated again, maybe just maybe getting organized or reassessing, balancing a situation out will get you, some of you guys re-motivated and you guys are, you guys are definitely destined <laughs> to manifest and get, a, have a dream come true here. A lot of you guys are destined to be, um, you know, definitely be, to be shown in front of others, you know, at whatever level, it doesn't matter. Um, is there going to be any more out of that? I'm getting um, emperor energy here too. knowing one's self-identity, self-analysis, going back to reviewing, right? Knowing yourself, coming into your own power, being ruthless, being a boss. People are going to be dumbfounded by your success. That's what I'm going to say. People are going to be really dumbfounded by your success. You guys don't even know that you're birthing magic into your life and it's going to be awe-inspiring to others in the world for some of you guys. But we may need to look at ourselves again, right? Because we may be stuck here in this. Some of you guys, you're, you're very close to just seeing something about yourself, a true part of you, right? Letting go, letting go of what, what doesn't work with us and our identity, lessons learned, choices made, moving forward. What else for Aquarius? It's like, wow, 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 wow. It's the lover's card. Something else wants to come out with this lover's card, though. Making, okay. <laughs> we got a lot about choices, and it's literally saying it right here. Making choices from your heart. Deeply emotional commitments and the power of love. There's another card that wants to come out with this lover's card. Gemini energy is coming through here. See, I see you guys breaking free and chasing after a dream, getting your dreams fulfilled. You guys are attracting some type of connection, some type of contract here, whether it's spiritual or non-spiritual, whether this is your life purpose. I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot to this, but I do see love here. Give us a little bit more with this lovers. It's really romantic. It's really, really romantic lovers card here. Very healing as well. 
And if any of you uh, Aquarius work with Archangel Raphael, you can guarantee that this is the angel that's bringing a, a situation um, to your heart here. Oh my gosh. So, oh, there, see, I was getting something about your work, but there is commitment. Some of you guys, oh my goodness. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles here. We're getting it with the Gemini. We're getting it with the Lover's card. I'm, I'm seeing something. So a lot of you guys are making the, you guys are going to have some type of crazy dream and fulfillment when it comes to your greater purpose and getting paid very well for doing what you guys love to do. Some of you guys, there may be um, something about improving and, and keep mastering your skills here. Okay, stay committed. Also, you guys have commitment when it comes to love. If you guys are seeking, for those of you seeking for love, because I know not all of you guys are, it's definitely here with the lovers and the eight of, pen, uh, eight of pentacles here. I'm going to read this. Take great pride in your excellent work. What did I tell you about this rooster? Look at the chest of this rooster. You guys are making tangible results. Tangible results are coming back to you, Aquarius. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. Okay. The other thing is I'm seeing you guys. Um, there's some type of mastery when it comes to having a, um, a love situation, a connection that is really from the heart, right? I want you to see deeply emotional commitments. And here we've got the eight of pentacles. That's all about commitments. That's being focused. That's working towards things. It's not just fluff and, and talk. It's real, real commitment. And I see a lot of you guys actually, um, Aquarius, I see a lot of you guys really coming into this commitment when it comes to your greater purpose here on earth. Okay. What else for Aquarius? Yeah, you guys might have been, you guys might have had an ending or a separation in a past connection. There may have just been a lot, right? You just had there was a lot. Had you questioning a lot of things. Had you have had you made you process a lot of things? <clears throat> oh my goodness. There it is. There it freaking is. Six of cups. I'm seeing very strongly. I'm seeing very strongly a reunion for some of you guys or a reconciliation. Someone from the past. Okay. Um, the other thing that I want to say is because I, I, the, you know, be open to always for a new love as well that, that pops up because, um, it could be, a. a it could be a past life. It could be just something that you guys just feel very connected regardless. And it brings you back to a sense of childlike. So we had that birth of magic, which is coming back to a sense of innocence. And six of cups is about innocence and inner child here. Some of you guys may need to look at inner child things as well. Okay. With this choices made and this memories because six of cups is really memories. And I was picking up six of cups with this anyways reunion reminiscing and inner child here <clears throat> um so i see a situation here where some of you guys um aquarius i'll just say this to be prepared it's possible someone from the past shows up and there is a possibility a new person is showing up as well because you have the king of pentacles with the ace of wands here so this is something new here okay but also I do see for some of you guys, I'm just going to say, so take it if it resonates, there's someone from the past here that could possibly have made a promise to you and it didn't, they didn't follow through. It's possible that they have gone through a rebirth or, or a situation themselves. Um, and we can, there may be a recommitment or healing, you know, overcoming trials and tribulations with someone that you guys really feel a soul connection with. Okay. Um, but make choices from your own heart. Take, take responsibility and accountability just for your own self and make choices from your own heart and then allow whatever happens to happen. And then you guys can have the choice and the free say of what it is that you do want and who you want and when you want. Okay. You guys have a lot more power than you think you do. What else for Aquarius?
There may be something here too with um, making sure you guys are using your resources wisely. I don't know why. I want to say just, you know, um, don't overspend or something. Just, just... Just be, just be wise right now. It doesn't mean that you can't splurge every now and then, but there's just something about um, don't do anything impulsive, okay? Because I see you guys do, uh, really having a situation where you guys can and will utilize your resources wisely. Ace of Swords. Yeah, I see you guys really breaking free from the past. You guys are going to have clear vision. Here's this rebirth that is assured. And I was talking to you about this is really resonating as a hanged man position for me. So I see you guys getting that truth and that clarity. And for a lot of you guys, some type of information or communication here. I really see you guys um, breaking free and releasing the past that has been really, you know, not so good. Okay. And off on a whole new conquest, a whole new vision for yourself and having clear discernment about what is really going on. There's an opportunity that you guys are gonna really um, grasp here, okay? Is it gonna be challenging possibly? Yeah. Is it, because is it always easy to break out of something that you didn't know was really there? You didn't even know that you were in that little crystal ball or whatever that is? You guys are going to fly higher than you could have imagined. A lot of you guys are destined for um, a lot of um, some type of, you know, public acclaim. Okay. What else for Aquarius? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out how is spirit helping Aquarius? Yeah, dreams, meditation. Oh my goodness, because look, we have this thing about chasing a dream. You guys are going to manifest. You guys are chasing a dream and you're going to manifest it. This is how Spirit's helping you guys. Spirit's helping you guys. Remember this message I was getting about getting motivated. Some of you guys are having a hard time getting motivated, right? Because we're having a hard time letting go of memories or something here or what had happened or what didn't happen. Spirit's helping you guys come back to a sense of innocence right i told you guys you're breaking free with that ace of swords you're breaking free from that past you're having a cl clearing here is notice this is kind of like um i don't know it looks like the joke uh, well it looks like the uh, fool's card to me right we, we, we're free here right because you have this rebirth is assured so spirit is absolutely helping you guys bring dreams um and i can say that because we have the ace of wands this is spirit bringing these inspired ideas these dreams take some time for quiet meditation because i do feel that some of you guys really do need to have some time really almost on a daily basis or at least a few times a week where you have your own space your own time to get centered reorganize reassess because there's a lot of things that you're doing and, and mastering and you're going to be continuing to really up level yourself okay Spirit's helping you guys manifest your dreams through meditation. Absolutely. And getting back to this, getting back to um, your power and source here. That's how spirit is helping you. Okay. And having a new beginning. And not letting like little things. I feel like not letting little things nibble at you or eat away at you. Okay. The past. Right. Right. You guys are going to have a new beginning. And since I was picking up fool's card, some of you guys, you're going to, it's going to feel like a risk. It's going to feel like a risk when you have to, when you have an opportunity that you're going to grasp like the hawk does. It's going to be something tangible that you're going to pick up. You know that, right? So prepare yourself. You guys are meant to break free and to manifest your dream and to have people be awe-inspired by it. Okay? Love and light. Take care.